Movie yeah. five is The Order of the Phoenix. I almost forgot about it. This movie. <laughs> it, you know, I think Goblet of Fire is like the worst movie, mm. but this one is easily the most forgettable. Yeah. Most forgettable. It's better than it, though. Oh. It's a better story. Yeah. It's done well. I think the story is executed well. I just think it's just kind of, it feels like filler, I guess, mm. for the rest of the it's series. A filler episode. It is anime, a filler episode. Um, talk about it, because... I you can't. don't remember it? I try to remember. I'm trying. So, oh, they introduced my my your my, baby. Oh, yeah, Natalia, Tia, Taya. See, you know her name. I don't even know her name. Oh, I know she's her in name. Game of Thrones. She was Asha in Game of Thrones. Just, I know that. Hold on, let me just think about her. He's in love with her for like some weird reason. She's pretty hot. She is. Especially just... and, and, no, in this movie, I was like, wow, she is pretty hot. She is, man. <laughs> I don't know why. She... All right, anyways, I don't. It's a person I don't want. We'll never meet. I don't know. But never say never. Never say never. Anyways, anyway, it'll happen. They introduce in another the... dimension. We'll see you next time. Anyway, yeah, she's in it. Tonks, that's her name. Nymph- oh, that's her name. Nymphadora Tonks. N- oh, Nif- oh, Nymphomaniac. Yeah, Nymphomaniac. That's how I yeah. remember it. Um, so they introduce it, the Order of the Phoenix, for, like right off the bat, basically, because Harry gets in trouble for using magic this time. Because this time it was a problem, even though in book three, like literally he got, he did the same thing, except this time it was to protect himself. But I guess they're like, oh, there's no Dementors. They would never attack a student. Why would you attack a student? Why would they not? Him and his cousin get attacked by a Dementor out of yeah. fucking nowhere. Nowhere, yeah. At the beginning. Um, and then I can't remember exactly what, he gets like on trial. Yeah. And Dumbledore's there. He defends him, but he won't talk to him. Now, this is the one where Dumbledore doesn't talk to him. I'm like, that's annoying. It's, yeah. I was like, why are you ignoring me? And he (laughs) explains it at the end of the movie, but I don't really remember why he did that. Because I think the, like, because Voldemort. Oh, yeah, because he was worried about Voldemort being in him now. Uh, It's it's just not clear to me. Like, first time seeing this, it's a lot of stuff is not clear. I remember that being in the book, too. So, yeah, you lose a lot of stuff coming from the book. Yeah. And, like,. If, if you want me to take this serious, like, you gotta do, like, do it right. And they, they're not doing it right with that. This one, I think, is the longest in a series. This one's 800 yeah. pages. But I think this one somehow is done a lot better than the Goblet of Fire. Mm-hmm. Which it is, is better. You know, it's just done better. I mean, I don't know how much they cut out of this one. Because this one, I forget about even the book, too. I read it, but I barely mm-hmm. remember it. So what so, is going on in this, in this movie? What is yeah. the importance of so, this movie? So, I mean, the whole movie, basically the plot, like, is really that there was a, there is a Order of the Phoenix, which is kind of like a resistance, like the rebels to Voldemort, right? Yeah, and I, I always like resistant groups. Like, I do too, c- Come yeah. together, all the, like, the best wizards yeah, come together. The, like the Wizard Avengers. Yeah. And they do, they do like it pretty well. I think the beginning they established there's always, like, weird guys, like, but there's a lot of them you don't know, I think, is the problem. It's a weak, I think it's a weak how they introduce them like they don't really have that much character they i wish they had yeah and then character. they don't show up even to like the rest yeah, of the movie man. and Ugh. it's probably done i better thought it was gonna be more about them in the book i was, I was excited not the dumbledore's army yeah well they're they're basically the order though they're like becoming the, the order. new one yeah which yeah. i kind of like man i like it they're like okay harry's like you know what this is fucking I do like real it. i do we like gotta it. fucking protect it. ourselves this is a murder house this school it is, is. <laughs> and we again we have another semester of school, which so one of the students fucking were killed by the dark wizard himself, the one you cannot say his fucking name. But you, well, also no one believes Harry really. Hardly anyone believes Harry that because Harry would make so it up. Convenient. Right? Yeah, you know Cedric just died. They yeah. don't even think Harry killed him. They were just they sucking his like, dick of a movie before, but now they're like, oh, we don't. Yeah, you. we don't believe you. Yeah. All right. Anyways, well, I'm getting into the weeds. Yeah. So anyway, all that happens. They don't believe Harry. Harry basically he's like, okay, I'm gonna get people to believe me. And mm-hmm. when he does, he sets up the Order of the Phoenix, which is like a resistance or the Dumbledore's army, I guess they yeah. call themselves. I just hate that name. Because Dumbledore gets like deposed by Umbridge. Oh, that bitch. The most unlikable character in probably the whole series. The next but... dark arts teacher, right? Yeah, she is a defense against the dark arts teacher. Yeah, she's like a you know. If you've seen the movie, she's the really prissy, like, cat lady character. Yeah, basically a cat lady. Like, yeah. a Catholic uh, teacher. Catholic nun. Nun yeah. teacher. That's what the, the feeling I get. But major nun vibes. He yeah. fucking, she fucking brands Harry Potter. Yeah. And that's just, like, I guess they do uh, say something about it, so I, I, I can't give them a pass for that. I like that. It's fucking... Yeah. 
it's brutal. Yeah, right? they start putting up the the rules. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, she was. Oh, I hate her. She's. I think uh, you hate her, but you're supposed to. No, no. Yeah, I know. She's, I a, she's it's a, a good, good hate. It's a good hate. She's yeah. a very good villain. Yeah. Um, and I think she's she's probably the main villain of this movie, probably for yeah. the most part. And without aside from like Voldemort or Bellatrix Lestrange too, who kills Sirius Black mm-hmm. at the end. Again, I have to say, rewatching this. That was the most anticlimactic death I felt. Oh, it's so bad. In the whole series. I, I, I rewatched it over and over again. It's just like, are you dead? Or like, and you just, he just dies out of nowhere. He dies but, out of nowhere. And you know what the thing is? It happened like, with Cedric, but I felt it. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I didn't even care about his character. And serious, I'm supposed to have cared about him for three movies now. Exactly, man. They just, did him dirty. That's why the uh, third movie is just like, it's just weaker because it's about him. Yeah. So if it was like more important character or like they did him thir- did him better, I think it'll have more importance to me. Yeah. I it's all about so. the characters, man. <laughs> it's character. The plot can be good, but if I don't care about the characters, it's not good enough for me. Yeah. I, I think overall this one was a lot weaker. And and the whole prophecy thing I think is kinda rushed in this movie too. So they, I don't even understand it still. Really. Yeah, it was kinda complicated, but essentially there's like a uh a orb mm-hmm. in the Ministry of Magic in this like like blocked off section that apparently you know only a person with um who it's, is prophecy, it's in the prophecy yeah prophecy. if they're in the prophecy they can grab it i think so harry potter's prophecy voldemort was trying to get it but why would he even want to know where it is if he can't grab it so he can't grab so it's about i thought it's about him so right he's in it though. it is about him but i think i think it's harry's prophecy so he wants to know what harry's prophecy is so anyway, Harry's Why? the only one that can Why? grab it. Why? Because if he knows, like, he might know whether he can, you know, if, like, there's some kind of, it's something in the prophecy that tells him, like, mm. Harry Potter, he's going to kill Voldemort. Like, Voldemort wants to know. I guess I get why he'd want to know. I guess. So I guess Voldemort, because now Voldemort's also A in Harry's A whole movie mind. about it, though. A whole movie yeah, about it's, it's it's a stretch. Um, so, like, Voldemort and Harry are now, like, sharing dreams, too, mm. or whatever. So I think. You know, the whole thing is Voldemort baiting him to go there, essentially, to get it. So okay, so can... I was a little confused by that. I guess that makes sense now that I think about yeah. it. I was confused by that because just having visions and, like, I didn't know he could do that at first. Yeah. It wasn't Because, remember, I didn't read the book, so I don't know. They do talk about it a little more in the yeah. book. But then even in the movie, that was the one, too, where they started going into his mind and try to protect him from Voldemort. Like, Snape was going into his mind, and then yeah. uh, Harry kind of, like, backfired something and went into Snape's brain and saw like his oh, dad yeah. bullying him and stuff yeah that was yeah. a good that was a good scene I that was a good scene that. yeah i really kind of wish this one was just like either longer or had more story or something mm-hmm. or if like you're gonna establish serious more character time with him and harry yeah and, man like, they needed that they yeah. needed that a lot except for like talking in the fire yeah it wasn't enough it's just yeah. kind of like hey harry remember me i'm here yeah i'm I, important i didn't i didn't think he'd be that important of a character from like i guess because they save them but I don't know. Yeah. It just didn't. I didn't feel like he was that important. They don't build him up as well in the movies. Yeah, yeah for sure. I can't so. think of like one line of dialogue really. He said, like he was just, he was there. Like you know, I remember him in the in the poster. But after that, what else is there really? It's that pretty. He he yeah, I remember him badass. being more manic and insane when yeah. he first gets out of Azkaban, rather than being. Yeah, he doesn't do anything badass, or like he has like a good character moment with. His, uh, you know, Harry Potter. Yeah. I'm like, and then he like he has the, the Order of Phoenix. That's cool, but I don't know. He kind of just blends in to me. Yeah. Like everybody does in that. Nobody really stands out except for Mad Eye. Uh, I'm gonna say Mad, Mad Eye, Eye Moody. Moody. He's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's cool though. I like him. Yeah. yeah. I really wish they would have like done more of the Order. I don't. I can't remember if they really did a lot with them in the book or not. That mm-hmm. book also to me is kind of a blur. Okay. That one is like the longest one. I think it's probably the weakest book. Umbledore and Voldemort was a really good fight. <laughs> oh, Umbledore! <laughs> I was I was resuming. Oh, you're mid sentence. Yeah. You know, because like we never cut off our videos ever. Never, never, we never run out of space and have to go like hit record again. Never. So we are talking about the things you like about this movie, which uh, was the fight between. Mm. Dumbledore, Dumbledore, and Voldemort. It was great. It was really great. I fucking loved it. It's intense. I like. There's like no music at all in that fight. I don't. I think. didn't even realize it. I I always notice when there's no music because like it's like it's jarring. Mm-hmm. It's really jarring. I don't even realize it's happening until after. And I'm like, oh, there was no music there. But uh, yeah, you just really feel like all the glass breaking and shit. 
you feel like he's mad. It's visceral. It is yeah. visceral. Yeah. Um, and you were saying you really like fights with like an old master. Oh yeah, yeah. And they so finally reveal their power. And it's everything. like screwed over by my young son. Like <laughs> they upper. show the reason why they're the headmaster. Yeah. And he showed that he proved his worth. And I. Yeah. And I gotta say I really like Dumbledore in these movies. You do. Yeah, I really do. Yeah. I like him. I like him. Ah, uh, see, I'm sorry. You don't. You don't no, like him? No, and I'll, why? T- I'll tell you why. Okay. This right. is the beginning of the end of my liking of Dumbledore. Okay. Is this movie. He's badass. That's he is badass. Like. Yeah. And I like his fight. It's not much to, to go by. Dumbledore is a fucking prick. He is a prick. That's why I like <laughs> He's a terrible person. He's, He's a, a terrible, manipulator. He is a manipulator. That's why I like it. <laughs> He's a horrible person. He is. He like his this use is a Harry, horrible look. The whole series. And he just like he gives him riddles. He's just like, oh, the, the secret is this, and if you that is shitty. It, okay, that's it, shitty. It's so shitty. That like just shitty. T- bro, tell me how to fucking kill him. Well, I'll do look, it. I like characters that just fuck with everybody. He, I feel like he has everything figured out already. That's why I like him. He is a trope, and you know what? I just finished Dracula, uh-huh. and there is a character in that. It's Van Helsing, right? So Van Helsing is like always uses oh, yeah. like the vampire hunter, right? Mm-hmm. The character of like Van Helsing is literally Dumbledore. He's this useless old guy who speaks in parables and tries to confuse people. He just gets drunk. It made me bad. so mad. I was like, it made me so mad that I googled like, does anyone else feel like he's useless? Like no one else ever like he doesn't. Come on, Dumbledore or Van Helsing. Van Helsing. Oh, okay, all right. But same kind of thing with Dumbledore. That's what I realized watching this now. It's just like, does anyone else like he just doesn't do anything? He, he literally doesn't. lets everything just happen. Just but like, he's like. You know, controlling and everything. Yeah, he's a puppet master. He's yeah, little... I love that, man. He's Fucking evil. asshole. I'm not saying he's a good person. <laughs> he's a bad guy. I love it. <laughs> he's the actual villain I feel in the like series. He, I feel like he he could do anything. Like, he can actually defeat Voldemort if he really wants I feel, to. Yeah, he could, he could just KO him. But he's trying to move on to the next dimension. The next uh, generation, you know, of wizards. Because he's... Okay, well, spoilers for the next movies or so. Uh, he's gonna die eventually, so yeah. I don't know when that actually happens, but we'll talk about it when it comes to it. But it's not in this movie, right? That's the sixth one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. So the next one. yeah, I like him. I mean, yeah, he's a pretty terrible person. I gotta admit that he's a pretty. <laughs> he's horrible. But like the sh- the pool of great or good characters in these movies is very slim. it's very shallow. Okay, <laughs> so uh, give me something. I do like he's, he's no like, Gandalf. He's old okay? and wise, and yeah. he's he yeah. reminds me of Gandalf. Okay, all right. Gandalf is better. Yeah, he is definitely better. Okay? Gandalf is better. Yeah, he just reminds you. I just like the old Gandalf masters. is is an old wise guy, but he doesn't like speak in riddles. He's like, listen, shit's gonna go down. We need like, to protect. Like, like, come on, man. Yeah, Gandalf is awesome. You do hate that it was speaking in riddles. I hate that. It makes me so fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like at the end of the especially last when it's to... like critical information that people just need to like save lives yeah, lives on the line <laughs> don't talk in riddles because man. he knows he can stop anybody at any time he showed in this movie he stopped Voldemort the then why didn't powerful... he just fucking kill him because it wouldn't be a fucking movie without <laughs> it okay he he knows what he's doing all right don't talk about Dumbledore fuck like Dumbledore that. he wasn't in the last movie well he wasn't in the third movie as much right or... Uh, the third movie, the only thing he really does is he tells Hermione to do the time turner thing. Yeah. The fourth one, he he's like, he's yeah. barely there. Yeah. I mean, he's like, Harry, don't you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Why you? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I, he's he's all right. He's I'm just saying I'm being like he's the greatest. No, he's he's all right. He's all right. He's he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> he's a fucking asshole. He is. Uh, all right. So, so hey, anything else from this forgettable movie? No, I don't really. This one, other than the last boss fight, I did like the last boss fight. Mm-hmm. I uh, I love Bella Tricks with Strange. This is the introduction of oh, her. Oh yeah, she's a great. She's villain. great. She's, she's fucking horrifying. Oh my god, I'm, I'm still, always scared. But she's I'm so fuckered over it. <laughs> she is hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like Crazy she's tricks. scary hot. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I'm always afraid of what she's gonna do every time she's on screen. And she. I mean, she's the most dangerous. She kills Seems the most like people. It. She's psychotic. Yeah, yeah. And she she gets the job done. Like, yeah. She's the best uh, Death Eater. To yeah, me. well, for sure, the most yeah. um, valuable to Voldemort. So probably uh, well, one of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was a good introduction to her. Introduction to her. Yeah. But you know, beyond that, it wasn't wasn't much to go off in this movie. It's, it's much. It's a setup. Feeling. Yeah, it does feel like a setup for the sixth one. Mm-hmm. It does I feel that still way. Still think it's better than Goblet of Fire. It is better because you know what? The story is executed better. Mm-hmm. And it's weird because, like I said, this one's longer, but I feel like the pacing 
worked really well in this movie and i bet it must be because they just cut out a lot of shit i really don't remember the book at all mm-hmm. like i don't remember the fifth book whatsoever i don't remember the book at all either man. it's, it's like weird. i never read it's it like you, yeah yeah i just skipped over that one yeah, yeah you skipped over that one what? and the next one and the next one <laughs> yeah but let's uh skip this movie and uh, let's say the our rating for let's this give a rating uh so god with a fire what did i give i give that a 6.5 yeah so order of the phoenix i think it is slightly better i'll, I'll give it a seven seven yeah it's okay i don't think it's the weakest in the series uh-huh. But it's not the. It's really just filler. What did I? What did I give? I gave Azkaban <sighs> a seven, right? Or a yeah, you, you did. You fucking monster. So that's definitely not good as that. I give. It, you gotta give it a six point five, man. Six point five, six. I, oh man, low six point five. You're getting real harsh now, huh? It's just like it's it's a filler episode. I see man. the comments blowing up, man. Fuck you, Harry man. Potter is the greatest series ever. What I, is, I what? read the book when I was eight. Therefore, it's the greatest series of all time. What in this movie? Like it has my like like favorite girl <laughs> and anything, and it's still I, it's a forgettable. No, movie. it was a forgettable movie. I'd yeah. always forgot this one. Like going back and watching it, like. I, I forgot what was happening in this mm. movie every time. There's like nothing really memorable except Sirius getting killed. And I was like, okay. And they, yeah, I hate that. They just. They made the, the third movie about him and then like they just kill him off. It's just anticlimactic. Yeah. And, and I don't really. Is he really that important? That's what that's how I feel like when I watch these movies. It's like, eh, is he really that important? And he just dies. Like, oh, I didn't feel anything for him. Yeah, they didn't establish him very well at all. I have to admit. So. And Harry Potter's alone once again. He has no friends or family. Good. Fuck no, him. No school. Doesn't it's deserve just it. Bends over backwards for him at all. So he's <laughs> just alone. Anyways. Let's... 7 out of 10. 6.5. Maybe even a 6 on all a right. rainy day. Order of the Phoenix. We're going to close that chapter.